Okay, this is an interesting little experiment that I wanted to try. I wanted to take uh, the signal generator here. Um, you can't even see that. Oh, there it is. It's a 13.6 megahertz at 20 volts peak to peak. And drive one of Dr. Stifler's towers. Uh, this was an old, old, old experiment that he had us do where he basically had an L3 type of scenario here coming off of a SEC-15 or a SEC-18 and then driving another tower that uh, had LEDs on it, a whole bunch of LEDs. And this was an experiment that uh, he had us do. And we did it both ways, either drive this one and receive here or drive, drive this one and receive there. But um, I wanted to see what would happen using just the function generator and it, it does work. You know, this, this is... Uh, 13.6 megahertz at 20 volts peak to peak coming off a signal generator with the ground uh, clip lead left off. But to get this to work right, I went through this L2 coil. This is out of a SEC 15, uh, basically 22 microhenry with a ferrite rod to tune that to get everything to go into resonance. Uh, these are some LEDs on an AV plug just taped to the top of this first tower and then it comes over here and it's received on the receiver tower with this uh, crystal oscillator circuit that we've been working with it's a uh, 13.56 megahertz crystal that's uh, a circuit that comes in from an AV plug attached to this receiver tower and then it goes through this uh, basically L3 type of coil only mine's longer and then it comes over here to the back side of uh, one of these 110 volt LED lights and then uh, the AV plug is put to the ground, the virtual ground. Now this is my tester right here and you've seen me use this before. It's a coil, almost it's identical to the other extended L3 coils I've been using. Um, two switching diodes, uh, it's not an AV plug scenario really, it's a uh, each end of the coil goes to a separate diode, then it goes to the four LEDs, and it's just a loop. It just goes around in a loop. But watch what happens here. Lights off the top of the receiver tower. Lights off the side. Lights in the middle. Lights very bright off the top of the transmitter tower. And then it lights off of the um, receiver L3 um, crystal oscillator here. But uh, yeah, I, I thought this was uh, rather interesting, so I thought I'd share this. Was This is the Dr. Stifler Tower experiment that a number of us did many, many years ago, where he had a whole bunch of LEDs on a board in series. I can't remember how many, it was a bunch. And then the, he had us put a 1 ohm resistor in the feed that we measured the resistance uh, voltage drop across that 1 ohm resistor to show that this had amperage going through it. And that was a big part of the experiment was to measure the amperage that was being sent through one wire this direction. And of course the uh, argument is that it's, it's, it's a capacitive link backwards to the ground and that's that's the uh, argument on this whole setup but anyway this was a rather interesting experiment of using a function generator a, a function generator set up at this um, if I can get the camera to show it here I guess it won't, won't do it it's not going to do it but um, that's too bad Anyway, that it's 13.6 megahertz at 20 volts peak to peak, and uh, this is the uh, wireless transmission of energy uh, going from uh, one tower to another, and then uh, the tower here is driving a uh, an oscillator circuit. It's this crystal oscillator circuit, and then uh, doing all this stuff here. Thanks for watching.